Motivation. Motivating force, stimulus or influence. Incentive, drive. You know, for me, when I'm lacking motivation, I think of my family because, you know, th th this is my job. You know, I have to, you know, I think of, I think of crossing that finish line, giving everything. And giving everything on the day is one thing, but knowing you've prepared and given everything in your preparation is another thing. To be beaten by this much or this much and know you missed the session here and here, that's not good. That's not good enough for me. So I, that, that's what motivates me. Um, I know, you know, come race day, it doesn't matter if you've, you haven't done the training, no one cares. So you do the training, you know, you, and I'm lucky, I love this sport, it's, it's an amazing, triathlon is just, just awesome, it's given me so much. Um, but yeah, no, definitely my family really helped motivate me. You know, when things don't go right in my preparation, if I have a, have a sore calf or I, I get ill, when I was younger, oh, I'd get so frustrated and so angry and normally ignore it for two or three extra days and then I'd really hurt my leg or really get ill. But now I'm lucky, I've got experience on my, on my side and I definitely know you have to respect the body, you have to respect the process. If, if, if a Formula One car is not running smooth, you hear the engineers say stop, stop, stop. We have to treat our bodies like Formula One cars and we have to stop them before they really get damaged. Um, you know, and in that moment, I'm very practical. I, I, then I change my, my mindset and my focus, and it goes from the, the original goal of doing well into races, given this situation, how can I best get on track? Okay, I need to start, if I don't feel very well, let's have lots of vitamin C, let's eat lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, make sure I'm getting my sleep, I'm super hydrated. Um, you know, maybe go into a steam room to try and, you know, help open up my, my nose and my lungs. You know, then I just change my goal and my focus because there's always something we can work on to be a better athlete. Even when we're injured, um, you know, the, the focus doesn't go on winning the race. It's getting back to normal training. It's using the equipment, you, maybe cross training, doing some extra swimming because you can't run. Maybe you work on your bike position. There's, there's so many different areas. And for me, I have to have that, that drive that goal and it just it can change it's got to be fluid it has to change you know I'm, I'm lucky I've I've well I'm un, I mean I've had injuries I've had illnesses and, and, and especially in the last seven or eight years with my family you know you're, you're, you're for me my, my, my children Hugo and Matilda they keep it real because they don't care if I win or come last or if I can't train because I'm injured and you know no matter how tough work is they're always going to come with a smile or maybe something's gone wrong but it, it kind of it takes my mind away from the situation and it does relax me and in doing that it, it can then refocus you so you can then then get on with with achieving your goals you know when I've had setbacks you know when you do that first session and you look at the numbers and you're it's just that relief that weight is lifted off your shoulder I can see sure my heart rate might be a bit high but the pace is there I can actually go out and train and Oh, it's euphoria. It, it's it's that it's that high of of exercise. Those endorphins getting going again, and it really makes me feel alive, and it makes me hungrier to want more. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's it's a great feeling. It really is. There are always going to be times when when it's hard to get out of bed, to commit to that session, to do the extra 45-minute bike ride that you need to do. Um, and I think for me, though, those are the sessions that count. When everything's going well, when you're, you're feeling good, you're swimming smoothly, you're running well, those are the easy sessions. Anyone can tick those off. But, it, but it's the difference, it's the difference in the hard sessions. It's, it's the difference in that extra commitment. The, and, and I promise you, if you can get up and you can, you, can, you can nail these sessions or at least get through them, there's a reward in itself. That is a goal in itself because you're not going to wake up like Superman, Superwoman every day and think you can accomplish anything. But as I say, it's definitely, um, it's the harder the session, the more reward there is. Um, and I think definitely, you know, the, the mental aspect of it, the motivation is, is just as important. And you, you are going to be, we are, it is hard at times, it really is. But if you can just find just a small spark of something that can get you out the door, you, you'd be amazed. I always say if you, if, if you opened up the mind, you'd be amazed what the body can do.